The solidarity of the group is emphasized, especially in the elite sea organization, Sea Org for short. Created by Hobbit, it is the heartbeat of Scientology, his private army. They want world domination and that needs an army, and into this one come only the best. Immortality, power, consensus and invincibility, rattling sabers and then the fall. Unexpected and final. You live with the conviction that you already have everything under control and when that does not happen you realize that you do not have everything under control and somehow the whole idea that you were part of an elite group plunges headlong into the ground. You begin the RPF with a black armband. Then if your ethics go well, you get a white armband. The difference is, with a black armband and as a married person in the Sea Org, you may not see your husband. You may not speak to him if he does not speak with you. With the white armband, you may spend three hours per week together with your second dynamic. That means your family, your husband and possibly children. You may still not speak with your husband unless he speaks to you. Then you get more. That means that you can earn a gold armband. With a gold armband, you may spend one night a week with your family. You can picture the structure of the RPF as Susanne drew it up in the camp and learned by heart. Chief of the group, but the co-prisoner at the same time is the bosun. Under him is the ESTO, responsible for the assignment of work, and the MAA, who is responsible for keeping the rules of the camp. Under that is the tech, responsible for the material and the equipment. Qual supervises the performance of the work. The rank and file form the individual sections A, B and C. Work groups have up to ten people. These are assigned to the actual renovation work, as is the case here in Clearwater. The control of each other is omnipresent and perfect. None can escape it. Man beobachtet alle andere und weiß, dass alle andere auch dich und alle andere. You keep all the others under observation and know that all the others are watching you and each other. That is normal. Anybody can get out of line. Those are the people who least want to know themselves. That means that other people bring it to your attention with a knowledge report that you have made a mistake. That means you have to look up that mistake face on and handle it somehow in some way and then show the group that you have made up for it. Those are the knowledge reports with which one shows his true loyalty. Everybody watches everybody else, everybody betrays everybody else and puts this down on paper. Here Susanne turns in another work group to their superiors. The smallest necessity in the RPF camp must be asked for in writing. Susanne requested, I have only one work suit and no cap. Without a complete uniform, I am breaking the regulations and I have to wash my cloths urgently. Request denied. Instructions? Wash your work cloth at night and hang them in the boiler room so that they will be dry in the morning. The European headquarters of Scientology in Copenhagen. Thousands of adherents stream year after year into this building in order to get closer to immortality by taking courses. We wanted to check out Susanna's statements. Together with her, we met there with the press spokeswoman of Scientology in Europe. She said she was ready to give information about the rehabilitation camp system. For her, it was a unique chance to ethically get back into shape. Well, there is a program that is allowed for a person who made some serious blunder in the church. It's a person, a person has, is offered the possibility, what it is, compared to what she's saying, I'm sure, is when a person makes a serious mistake, 
she is given normally in any other area, she would be kicked out or fired from a group for the mistake they made. We offer the, the possibility to the person to do the rehabilitation project course where the person learns how to uh, learn what he did exactly that was wrong. He is given some technology where he can uh, avoid making the same mistake again. And he does, he works five hours a, a day. He studies five, hour, five hours a day. And then he works in doing different uh, projects. No, I don't aid these people. I don't what, are, what are your feelings? My feeling doesn't matter on this thing. As I said earlier, the yap and that's all. It's like just annoying and it's just annoying because they do not say the truth of what Scientology is. They are upset about whatever. Okay, when you're upset, you might say things that are a bit overboard, but it does not matter really to us because we will be continuing to be there and no matter what they say and what they yap, there are thousands of people coming in and wanting to know what Scientology is, and, it, and life goes on. It carries on. Their lives go on. Not only tomorrow and the next day, but for billions of years. The Sea Org members sign a work contract accordingly. Therefore, I contract myself to the Sea Organization for the next billion years. And that's for $130 a month, as former members tell us. an elite organization for eternity. The only question is, whose? I'm a Sea member, and I have my uniform. You're proud to be a Sea member? Definitely. And why? Because the purpose of it, what I do, what I accomplish, the good I do the whole week, is very worthwhile, is very rewarding. They are surely unbeatable when it comes to one thing in particular delusions of grandeur and fondness for theatrical drama and fine-tuned propaganda. In the center of the power rush is the current leader, David Miscavige. Since 1986, he has been the successor of L. Ron Hubbard. There will be no more nothing, because on October the 1st, 1993, at 8.37 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the IRS issued letters recognizing Scientology and every one of its organizations has fully tax exempt. The war is over. He's actually quite a short person himself and he's very paranoid because I believe of what he does that he feels that someone's going to hurt him so he has to hurt them first. Welcome to church. hundred miles east of Los Angeles, two hours drive away. Below us is Gilman Hot Springs, the secret world headquarters of Scientology. This is where David Miscavige pulls the strings of his power. The site resembles a vacation resort, grand houses, the golf course right next to them, everything including the California sun. There is room for over a thousand people here, his private army. Only a few Scientologists know of this spot and its meaning. One of them, Jesse Prince, the former representative of David Miscavige, tells us what the picturesque setting conceals. That means the location there is the real world headquarters of Scientology. Yes. And David Miscavige is living there also? Yes, yes, yes. yes. How would you describe his living condition? Very elaborate, very lavish that I've seen, you know, and, and you, you, you see that some of the buildings that they have are actually quite nice. They, they look quite nice. Some of the properties are quite nice. Very, very luxurious, as a matter of fact, is a good word. Reason being is, is they have zero cost for labor. It's simply material cost because they have the, their, their slave camp, they have their slave laborers that work night and day, and then when, even when the slave laborers can't keep up with it, there's a day uh, Saturday, where every person at Gilman Hot Springs, no matter what position you're in, goes and does the labor just like the slaves does all day doing renovations. So, in that wise, you know, if you have no labor costs and just materials, you can accomplish quite a bit. Pure luxury made possible by the RPF, 
zero labor costs and $300,000 in donations for a private music studio, wardroom and fitness center, all for the comfort of David Miscavige. You know, if he decides that something needs to look a certain way, well, then that's how it looks. If he decides that things need to be done in a certain way, then that's how they are done. It is by his will. 